steals the tip. Everybody. Oh, come on. You didn't like the second one? Oh, no. come on. With that W as well. And an errant pass. That one from Kennard. Thought that a teammate was going to be there. Giddy trying to pick up pace. Here's the physicality. Lowers the shoulder, then the scoop and score, plus the foul. And that's our main primary weapon is being able to take that three-point shot and make it. Speaking of the three-point shot. If he's able to get the basketball consistently down there. Moravia, desperation shot fading away, and he's going to get that friendly bounce. So I'm going to settle for the shot, and it goes in. First points for Memphis. See that really struggles to score. There's a power move inside off the pass from Getty. That's Jada. Once again, getting down low into that. Memphis defense, up top, SGA, off the catch. Zachary is good, right down the middle, and the threes are flying here early. I want to see the Grizzlies right now in that painted area. And there's a turnover. Three on one, Giddy behind the defense, and he's able to slip it up and in, as he himself has... Lowest scoring team in the NBA. Earned seven points per game. Shea pulls up, contested, still got it up over the outstretched arm of Jackson. He knows where he wants to get to. You know, not that they're playing the Grizzlies, but that they're, they're playing their system, and they're getting to those spots. Tough shot, fade away. That was nicely done by Stevens. Five first quarter threes, had 12 all of Friday night. Thoreau, the drive, and he forces his way. Something, this something you're going to have to manage. Isaiah Joe, he walks into the three-point mix and finds the bottom of the net. Just under three minutes to go, he got 33 points on the board. Solid bounce back game for Joe against Miami. I don't know if that was... And the Thunder are playing. There's some vitamins in his socks here. My goodness. It continues here. Cason Wallace. Thunder in a good spot here. Shea again on Stevens. Series of ball fakes. Tough shot on the baseline, but he shows the touch. And then hits his shot as he comes in the game to start the second quarter. That is off. Yet he fires it to Jason Wallace. Cutting right to the rack. And he puts it down. He does not allow the Grizzlies to, to really set up any kind of defense. Walgren off that wall from Wallace. Waiting for something to develop. And it's a one-footed step back. Stevens rumbling down the lane, gives it up to Jameson. He fumbled the pass, and it's a Memphis turnover. Oh, good job of packing all those dark colored jerseys in the paint. Oh, and there's a beautiful pass there, and Wiggins set it up in stride. Then we got to run him off the three point line. Arabia again, deep shot clock for Memphis, trying to make his move. That's a tough shot. And we've got Lou Dort defending him on the perimeter. That's right. How about that nice? It's my money, and I want it now by Jay Will. And he lines up the trifecta. That's just a beautiful play by him. With a 19 to 12 advantage on the glass. Oh, Aldama, a little Euro step, and then the scoop and score. That was a nice move. Let's play some good basketball right now. Jay wants to step back three. Oh, how does he do it? That was pretty. Drills one from deep. Kennard in his spot in the corner. Left it short. Nice rebound. And Holmgren goes up to grab it. Dort just trailing the play. Kind of a casual three. Off. He's still a very good offensive player. And he's really shy, you know, without John Moran. And, you know, obviously having that playmaker in. Marcus Smart not being on the floor. He's that kind of what we saw a season ago when they led the NBA in points in the paint. They're dead last this year. But they take the fifth most threes in the NBA. That's how they get their points. And there is Chet Holmgren getting two points. It's like oh, the fourth man. play the Thunder have been able to fall into a possession. Let's see if this here will be four for four where they get a score. Oh, nice drive and kick. And once again, it's Chet Holmgren rocking the Oh, the Thunder just would not let go of that play defensively. And that's a nice take. Jaron Jackson Jr., rugged drive. Rookie getting the third quarter start in place of J-Dub, and it looked like 
Moravia lost it on the way up, but Jackson, GG Jackson, rookie there to put it down. I mean, a guy sacrifices his body on a night-to-night -night basis, covered for his teammates, and my goodness, did you see the thread of the needle? That contract got converted to a full guaranteed deal. Just looked good for Memphis so far. Giddy missed the last three, not going to miss that three in the corner. And they've been more aware of the shooters, which is what David, David Akinoli talked about with Ferris Lawson at halftime as well. They just keep flying. Behind the back and scoop over. Giddy trying to chisel out some space there with Aldama. Up ahead, Jackson got behind everybody. And that'll be a Memphis Deuce. SCA is just being the bus driver. He's taking everybody to school. Shea, oh. up and under. That is just impossible to defend. I just like, you know, how do you do it? Because everything looks different to me. <laughs> this is oh. oh, that nice little fake that time. Oh, Isaiah Joe. Getting up the counters because he's starting to see so many different defenses. He's at the top of the scouting court. Lou Dort should be at the top of the defensive scouting report. You know, the, the play that they've had, you know, this is this is more than just, just a sample size. Uh, they've been playing some really good basketball all season long. Of moving around the pieces on the chessboard. You're talking about eight to ten pieces at a time, you know, rotation-wise. Kenrich not giving up any space whatsoever. Gordon Hayward going to send it up to Wiggins. And Wiggins is going to take it hard and throw it down right at the rack. It's a rare miss for Jay Will. On target, just short. Zero dumps it off. Oh, oh, Test initially, but a foul. Isaiah Joe, the help defender, did not want to give up. How about Josh Giddy, which is which is the 50th double double of his career? But he did it in 19 minutes. And he was quite impressive in that first half. Give up anything easy, even when the score is like this, it tells you a lot. That's right. And, you know, moving forward, that's certainly something you want to continue to work on. Deep three, Arabia no, and the put back go by Jamison. For all the issues, this is a team that back-to-back -back seasons with 50 wins. And the two seed played really well, Gordon Hayward. This Memphis team not going to want to have the same result. It's going to be interesting to see how that game goes. Nice and ahead pass. Also coming up this month. Giannis and Jeff Dekumbo as well. And the Thunder continue. And they're very physical with him. But you know what? He gives it right back. And, and that's what is so remarkable. You see more and more teams, Michael, and they, they've got SGA at the top of the scouting report. Don't forget it. They won't do it. Some of the great rebounders. Charles Barkley probably didn't take just the subtle presence of Muscala. They would have throw off Stevens. Oh. Stevens. D.D. Jackson? Well, I'm not surprised what took him so long. Yeah. I'll tell you, he's been solid uh, all game. He's now got 20 points off the bench. I don't think that the Grizzlies will get John Morant back next year. It'll be a completely different team than they are this year. Jason Wallace just continues to stroke it. He's 9 out of 13. The ninth consecutive victory for the Thunder in this building. They got the second best home record in the NBA.